Howdy, I'm the Quirky Cowboy and this is Kitchen Hacks. Today, we're talking about cast iron. How to clean and maintain an everyday season for your cast iron. So cast iron cookware. What do you do with this? How do you clean it? How do you keep the nonstick on it? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I love cast iron. It is my absolute favorite cookware. Why? It's durable, and food just tastes better out of cast iron. So, one of the gripes about cast iron I hear a lot from people is, how do you clean it? You have to maintain it, you have to season it, you have to do all this stuff to keep the nonstick on it. Otherwise, yes, it can kind of be a pain in the butt to use on an everyday basis. But if you use your cast iron every day, it's going to be really easy to use. If you don't, it's just going to build up some rust like this pan. And we're gonna show you how to clean that off of there. Um, if you don't season it like this pan, I intentionally have not seasoned recently because I wanna show for this video on how to re-season a cast iron pan. And, well, how do you clean baked on grease or food? So the easy method to clean cast iron, and this is everyday method, hot cast iron, hot water, bristle brush. Scrub it down, problem solved. The food, the grease, all the stuff that you've cooked onto your cast iron will fall right off. That's the easiest method. If you do that all the time, every time you cook, you'll not have no problem keeping your cast iron clean with a good seasoning. What if you picked up some cast iron um, from like maybe your grandmother or something and it hasn't been used in a while? It may have some rust on it. And that cast iron is totally fine. Usually, older the cast iron, if it's been well cared for, the better because it has a built up layer of seasoning, but not always the case. So I intentionally rusted this cast iron pan the last couple of days. I cleaned it, but I left a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan and just let it sit out for a few days to get some rust build up. Because I wanted to show you guys how to clean a rusty cast iron pan. Get a rag, and uh, get a rag that has does not leave lint behind. So don't use paper towel or anything like that because you'll leave it in your pan. So this, I have a designated cast iron cleaning rag. So dip it in your vinegar, and then we're just going to rub down our pan with the distilled vinegar. And we're gonna rub it until our rust is gone. And if you look, it's coming right off of there. And you don't need a lot, just a few tablespoons in the bowl, and just kind of rub it down until it's gone. And that's all there is to it. And if you look, there's the rust on the rag. So third method, you have baked on food in your cast iron. You cooked your meal, you ate it, you went to go watch TV and you came back and you're like, shoot, forgot to clean my cast iron. Well now your pan's cooled and your food has been baked on there for several hours. Well, I have a solution for you. You just need a few things, salt, oil, and a brush or a rag. So first, you're gonna take your salt and we're going to put a couple tablespoons in your pan. We will take a little bit of oil, put about a tablespoon or so, a little bit more if you have a big pan, this is a small pan, and now we're gonna take our brush and we're just going to scrub. We don't even have to put a ton of effort Okay, so now you can see our cast iron is clean. That was just salt, oil, scrub it down, and then rinse it out. So now we have to re-season our cast iron so it doesn't build rust over the next few days. It creates a barrier on your cast iron. And that's also going to be your nonstick. So, what do you use? any cooking oil you please. Real simple, 
we're just going to pour some in our pan, rub it down, and you're good to go. Well, that's everyday use. What if you haven't seasoned your cast iron? For that example, where our pan was rusty, we cleaned the rust out of it. And we have a pan that looks like this, that hasn't been seasoned in a long time. So it has no buildup of seasoning. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you. We have our pan, we take our cooking oil. You wanna turn on your oven, and we're going to bake our cast iron pan with the oil in the pan. And that's going to get absorbed by the cast iron. As it heats up, the pores will open up in the pan. The oil will then attach itself to the pan and bond, essentially, and create a nonstick layer. So keep in mind the oil that you use. Different oils have different smoke points. Some are low, some are medium, some are high. Like canola oil is, for one, is about 225, 250, so you wanna make sure your oven is below the smoke point. If you're using extra virgin olive oil, it's gonna be about 350, so you wanna keep it just below that. If you wanna use something really high smoke point, avocado oil, it's about 520, give or take. So you can crank up your oven from there, but it's really not necessary. So I have my oven at 300. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. And we're just gonna put it in the pan, about a few tablespoons, make sure it has a nice coating, and pop it in the oven and bake it for a half hour. And when we're done, we're gonna let it cool to room temperature and then wipe out any excess oil that are still in the pan. So that's it for today. We've learned how to clean, season, and care for our cast iron for many years of quality, everyday, reliable use. If you like this video, click that like button. If you wanna see more videos by me, the Quirky Cowboy, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at the Quirky Cowboy, and check out my website, thequirkycowboy.com. Thanks for watching Kitchen Hacks. And we'll see you next time.